My name is David Longo, a managing director for Indeli Petroleum Refinery. It refines crude oil and produces the finished products, some of which you are familiar with, the diesel and the petrol. We also produce fuel oil. We also produce the gases like LPG. So basically that's what refining is all about. I find it very impressive. It seems to be able to deliver the kind of training output that we would anticipate for a facility like this one. I'm personally happy to see what I've seen. The equipment itself is advanced, it's sophisticated. You can see that the quality that would come out of it would be very good, even the students who are graduating under this program are expected to be high rated because of the kind of equipment that they have here. Yes, from the presentations that have been done regarding Zamita and also from what I've seen around, it is clear that the response is good because from what has been presented, the whole program started with first a training needs assessment of what the industry needs. And from there, you are able to start the, the, the training that is required. So based on that, what I'm seeing is that we have adequately responded to the needs that are out there. I'm not so sure about the future, uh, how it will respond to the other training needs that are out there because this one has focused specifically for heavy equipment, uh, repairs, heavy equipment engineering. But what I would do prefer to see more is that it has to extend to even the other areas of training beyond even the heavy equipment repair. As I've already highlighted, I think the training equipment is very good. Uh, from what I'm seeing, the program itself looks well organized. I have seen that almost any equipment you may need to undertake any training on every equipment is there. I've been particularly impressed with the fact that you have a simulator. So with a simulator, you are among the best institutions, so to say, because not many institutions afford a simulator. So the fact that you have a simulator as a starting point for all these training programs is a very big achievement. So all these things, they give confidence that the training that is being offered under this program is an effective one. It will deliver the results as desired. My advice to the industry is that it should just be intentional to encourage, uh, especially the female population, to take interest in programs like this. I have seen even in this specific program, the representation of the, the women, the ladies, is quite low. You would love to have it more, but it requires that the institutions themselves, they are basically deliberate in trying to give access to this training for the various uh, uh, female population out there. I'm happy to hear from Notec that there is some kind of a preferential uh, treatment. As long as the lady has met the qualifications, in the case where you have to choose between the lady and the, the, the man, so to say, the lady would be preferred. It's, that is being intentional. It means you are deliberately facilitating that more female people are enrolled in these institutions. And I would like to see more of it under the Zamita our project, because I'm one person who feels that each of these professions, uh, the female population can still do them, provided they are given the adequate backup that is needed, the adequate training that is needed. So I see that in your 
program in your policy, you have taken this as a deliberate effort to bring in the women, the ladies to take up this, this training, which is very good. So, but would rather see much more than even what we have done at this present time. What I may say to that one is that uh, regarding uh, Indian refinery, with regard to the specific line that you have taken, that of heavy equipment, there's not much scope at Indian refinery. I think the only heavy equipment you'll be talking about is some two cranes and some two forklifts. That's all you talk about. So in terms of scope for Indeni, are not much. But in terms of possibility of training, there is a deliberate program to bring in uh, students on an internship. We have actually gotten an internship policy approved by the board which will be rolling out, where we'll give opportunity to some students who are training under this program to come and join us. I think if the future of Inden is such that we'll be handling a lot of heavy equipment, uh, it may be that that opportunity will still be provided under that framework. That's why in the discussion I was asking specifically, why is this program uh, tailored mostly towards heavy equipment? What was the basis? why we went for heavy equipment, but it was explained. But I think the future should be such that we spread it to other possible programs where even the women can still participate, but they would benefit from an institution like India in terms of employment opportunities. One key area that was in my mind as we did the discussions, we walked through the workshops under Zamita, but also even the other parts of Notec, was the aspect that is constantly being discussed about how the, the students we are training can actually end up working for themselves. I believe that the scope for possible uh, entrepreneurship activities, people doing their own activities, not target employment is very big out there because the needs of the community are big. But still, we still feel that the tendency is still that when we train people, they have to look for jobs in institutions. And we know that that has been a big challenge. Employment is not really there currently. But does it mean that our people are trained, they should just end up rotting with that skill, that good skill that you have given them? Maybe not. I feel that our programs should just make it like a deliberate program to assist people to be actually prepared to work for themselves. Obviously, from the government side, we do know that there's a support that is needed even under that arrangement. But I think if it is pushed through the institutions, that the programs are just deliberate, even the government support will be more motivated in terms of bringing out the results. Because in my view, it is a wastage of skills that someone trains here and doesn't get employed and then just, just waste away in the compound. When they have something that they can use to generate the revenue, they may not get the big monies that are being obtained maybe from companies like Indem in terms of monthly income, but they will still survive using their skills. So I would prefer that while we are planning all these trainings, the key focus is also to create that independence, that structured institutions are not the only way they can find a living. They should be able to find a living. Applying their skills they have learned, which is the core thing for them to actually make a living, to survive and end a life at the end of their training.